moment to hold his heart in her hands for a while. Drops of blood in a green glass vial. He could tell her a thousand times not to stare when he gets wild. Drops of blood in a green glass vial. Drops of blood in a green glass vial. their food and wine growing grapes on a fence tied vine German shepherds and caged magpies under corrugated iron troops of blood in a green glass vial So blood in a green glass vial. Decisions like a seasoned vet with a gun to the sky. Quadro bikes and a telescopic eye. Still get around, and I don't even have to pay. Rent. 
He looks so damn good, as you can see. Beautiful hair, natural flowing curls. Well, trimmed beard. Kind of beard you don't even realize it's there. Just looks like it blends in with the hair there. And obviously, a, uh, what you're seeing there is not sunburn, it's a natural uh, genetic redness inherited from his father. I to call it an all year round tan. He's looking great. Highlights his eyes. A, uh, an ex, I'm going to embarrass you now, an ex-girlfriend of Roy's, um, whether or not she was slightly unhinged, none of my business, but you still liken Roy to Brad Pitt. And I used to argue with her about that, I'd say there's no way, until one day she showed me a photograph, and when you see Brad Pitt's face here, and Roy's face there, he looks a lot like Brad Pitt. <laughs> but that's why we asked for red lights. <laughs> I might get a little bit more of the, uh, the music in my wedge, just a touch more, nothing crazy. I'm going to play another song now. Same across the front actually, Kadesh, just a little bit more music, liven up a little bit. This next song is called Real Bad Looking. Thank you. 
with it, I can't leave my kid in the cold. I am the goddamn drunkest, ugliest girl at the bar. Yeah, who the hell are you to tell me that I can't leave my kid in the cold? We drove to Atlanta and, uh, and, and we flew straight here. Uh, I don't think we can get a spotlight on that, but you're going to have to use your imaginations. We've run out of vinyl and CDs. We tried to get some delivered here, but to no avail. So the only thing we have for sale tonight is cassettes. <laughs> That's, uh, I'm, I'm glad you find humor in that, but to us it's deadly serious. Uh, does anyone have a cassette player here? Oh, yeah, there you go. You've got one? There we go, so that's two sales, Roy, you're right next time. Uh, it's also a great piece of memorabilia. What was that, sorry? Do you want the cup as well, a spit cup? Oh my goodness. You just got me excited. I don't know about Roy, but I'm very excited about that. Uh, so, this is our, this is, uh, normally we do this with, a, with an LP so you can all see it, but right now, uh, obviously, uh, I'd, I'd, can I trust you if I pass it around? Can I trust you to, to give it back? Okay, well just pass that around, take a look at it. It's a beautiful piece of memorabilia for, for what has been so far an absolutely wonderful evening. Um, there's seven left that we have, uh, and they're, they're, they're for sale tonight. That's a record that we made called Jump in the Shark, and you're hearing the songs tonight uh, as, we, as we play them live. Not, not in the order that you'll hear them when you play that tape, but 
in an order we've selected for live performance based on energy developments. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to play a song off that cassette. I don't know where it's going to. Okay, I trust you guys to pass it around. Let's make sure it makes it all the way to the back and then all the way to the front. Uh, back to Roy here at the end of this song. This song is called The Comeback.
That one always takes it out of me a little bit. I'm not doing a huge amount of drinking uh, before I play. I like to stay completely sober before I come on stage. So I can be sharp and I can react to certain things with the pace and speed that I'd like to. Also means that I have all my senses uh, heightened to the point of, uh, sometimes to the point of anxiety, hopefully to the point of, uh, what's the word for it? Mental sharpness. <laughs> and it's, it's, it, it's nice to be here in this room with you. You have a disco ball up there above you. I don't know if you've noticed that. Spinning nicely. I've been singing to it. It's quite attentive. I feel like it wants to say something, but it, it can't because it doesn't have a brain or a mouth. or a soul, <laughs> or any intelligence at all. But it's still beautiful as it spins up there, like some great robotic moon in the sky. He's looking at you. But I have been, uh, I've been drinking after the show because I like to meet people and hang out with very sociable young boys. Men, we just realized we've become men recently. <laughs> it's the it's the secret back pain that we don't talk about. It's the slowly my, my face is becoming more lined as I uh, make my way through. This uh, yeah, I feel like I look lovely though. I feel like I look youthful still. Uh, I still have a a pep in my step. I know Roy is still doing his daily workout regime, which is quite strenuous. You don't get a ring like that without uh, taking care of yourself. <laughs> you saw him without his top on, he'd be flabbergasted. I see it daily and it's still a surprise. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we arrived in, uh, in Porto last night and uh, I was told to pronounce it Porto. Yeah. Porto, so I'm going to pronounce it like that. And uh, we're, we're staying in a nice hotel. Um, our hotel room has four beds in it. And, uh, and the lady at the front desk stressed that we only sleep in two. Uh, so I can, I can appreciate that she's trying to save money on, uh, on things like cleaning and bed sheets and linen. You know, that's, that's, uh, that's labor and resources. That's a lot of money per bed. What's that? Roy, Roy, as soon as we got there, just made sure he's gotten into all of the beds. <laughs> just to get our full money's worth. <laughs> Smooth it out. Yeah, you just spread things. <laughs> what was that, sorry? Yeah, exactly right. Okay. That's exactly right. <laughs> Where is Angelina? <laughs> uh, she's, she's, uh, she's his, his little peach. She's his little peach. Yeah. They'll always be friends. <laughs> And I, we, we went for a walk around the city today and we saw, um, we saw the lovely architecture and the, the buildings. I saw a building with a great big peacock on it. <laughs> Do you know this building I'm yeah. talking about? Sandman. What is it? Yes, it's the wine. It's, it's wine? Yeah. There's wine in there? It's a great big peacock on, on, the, on the top of the building and there's this very masculine kind of, looks like sort of sexual message beneath it. But it's just in the design. I don't think that's what it's about. <laughs> and, um, I observed it, I took a photo of it. Very beautiful. I wouldn't stress about what, what goes on in there, I just meant to touch on it and keep it. Uh, and I guess the point is, we don't know much about the cities that we go to, but we're struck by ones that are particularly beautiful, and this is certainly one of them. Uh, so I'd like to say thank you for having us, and thank you for being so sweet and attentive, and being beautiful people. Because we're traveling, and we're trying to take notes, and we're trying to write songs, so it's, it's very... It's very much, uh, it's, I always say you've got to fill the well before you can drink from it. And this is one of those cities where I feel like we're getting full of information and things that look beautiful and, and things that inspire us. Okay, we're going to go to the room. This next song is called She's Mine. Lovers 
Presidential careers I wonder if they have a fears Of quick thinking and way too much And slowly, slowly losing touch Of a sexual careers It's like they never use their ears To listen to their beating chairs And pound like elevated I said, no more phone calls to this number. <laughs> How do you say that? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, okay. Let's go fuck yourself. I'm, I'm, normally we don't swear on stage, so it's a, it's a, a rude shock for me. It feels really good to be on stage. I'm sorry that I'm taking my time, but I'm just trying to enjoy it as much as I can. <laughs> so. Okay. Okay, something like a unique word that's only in Portuguese. Okay, what do you got? Oh my. <laughs> oh, and what's the word? Saudade. Saudade. I feel like I'm feeling that right now. <laughs> Really? Mm. So that's like I'm missing, I'm only missing this one specific thing and no words could possibly describe it. 
Okay. What about, has it got to do with passion and love and fire and things like that? Okay, saudade. Saudade? Saudade. Okay. That's, that's the, it's a Portuguese feeling. I wonder what feeling. I'm not going to say that, Roy, that's just grotesque. <laughs> but you give this guy a mic, you understand why I don't give him a microphone. <laughs> if you heard what I was hearing. Okay, I'm going to play... Uh, maybe I'll, I wouldn't mind doing a song that I wrote about, uh, about the internet. Um, because I like doing it when we're in small rooms, and I like doing it when there's nice lighting and, and nice people, so I'm going to sing it. Uh, mostly for myself, but I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 